I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. This is The Truth is Full of Lies, and I want to bring a short, uh, try and keep it short, a simple message talking about genetically modified food. Okay? Now, I first want to say that genetically modified food is not being used as a weapon. They, the Illuminati, are not trying to use genetically modified food as a weapon. Okay, that is the first thing you should understand. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because there is a lot of discussion about it in the research community and there's a lot of shells talking about it and no one out there understands why they are doing it so this is to the best of my knowledge why they are doing it and uh, I guess my argument against why food is not being used as a weapon is because that would backfire on them totally backfire on them if they according to the most people they know food is a weapon so they're trying to poison the public for depopulation Okay, that would backfire on them because if they're trying, just think about it. Eventually, all food would be GMO. We wouldn't have the original uh, animals. We wouldn't have the original plants. We wouldn't have, it would eventually all merge together. That's one reason why GMOs are so dangerous. But uh, if they knew that, they wouldn't be doing it. They are, in my opinion, a little bit smarter than that. Okay? Now, yes, they are they are illumined, but I think they're hypocrites in, in general. That's just my opinion. But they are clever people. There is no doubt about that. <clears throat> but uh, here is the real reason that none of these researchers will tell you. Here is a real reason why they put GMOs in our food supply and push it on the public. Okay, and it all, all has to do with evolution. You get the picture? Let's. And for any of you who ran into the uh, Anunnaki theory that they uh, genetically modified us, now I haven't done a study into that, well, what that exactly means to them, but I do know that everyone purporting that theory out there is a shell. I do know that fact. So I haven't done a study on exactly what that means. I have a idea of why they say that but uh in general i don't really i haven't studied into that that much but i can tell you this the anunnaki theory that they genetically modified the human race has to do with this gmo uh agenda and in my opinion i'll just okay i think it means that the anunnaki or you can replace that word with the light, or Lucifer, whatever you want to, these aliens, UFOs, anything, uh, kept us out of the bonds of ignorance. They gave us the secret knowledge, or whatever, and genetically modified us and set us free from the ignorant way God created us. That's my opinion. I haven't exactly, like I said, I haven't exactly done a study into that. But now speaking of GMO precisely, I brought that up because... It definitely connects in there, huh? Now, it all has to do with evolution. I don't know if these people realize it or not, uh, or if they're just trying to speed up the process of what they already believe, but they're trying to evolve the human race. They're playing around with these genes and these DNAs, and they're putting it in our food, and eventually they know that will affect our DNA. Uh, and that's been proven. Uh, you are what you eat, as the saying goes. So they're basically trying to evolve the human DNA. That is the purpose of these GMOs, these genetically modified food, to genetically modify the human race. You know why? It's all Satan's plan, because God made man, like it says in Genesis chapter 1, God made man in his own image, in the image of God. And Satan wants to destroy that because God created man perfect now man's not perfect but god created his creation perfect in the image of god and satan got jealous when that happened and now he seeks to make us go away from the image of god 
make us eat these genetically modified food, evolve us to these god beings, or that's what the Illuminati believes, but Satan specifically wants to destroy our image of God. That is the truth, and this is what no researcher out there that is talking about genetically modified food will ever, ever tell you, and I can I can guarantee you that much. I have never seen anyone tell you that this is the real agenda. And it is very obvious that this is the real agenda. Uh, so quit being deceived and I'll talk to you later. Peace.